Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to Hack My Growth. I'm Ryan Shelley and today we're going to be talking about Google Data Studios. Data Studio is a powerful tool within the family of analytics tools that Google provides to almost every single user who really wants access to them. Now these tools can really help uncover how your users are actually interacting with your website, uh, interacting with your ads, and what's your performance like overall online. And Data Studio helps you make visualizations to make even more sense out of all those data points that you're collecting. Not only can you pull data from YouTube and Google Analytics and Search Console, you can actually pull data from SQL databases off Google, or you can connect to bigger data sources like Google BigQuery or some of the other other tools if you're in the 360 package. Data visualization is an extremely powerful way to help show in a visual format how your site is performing. And visualizations are easier a lot of times for us to understand because we don't have to dig through the deep, deep details of all of those numbers and digits. And we can kind of see what's going on in a very easy and simple way. But you have to pick the right visualizations to really tell the story the right way. And Data Studio helps you start to do that. There's a lot of great free templates built inside and you can also create your own and you can use them again and again and again. So let's dig a little bit deeper into Google Data Studio and how you can start using it today to make more sense out of your data. All right, so let's dive into Google Data Studio. So the first question is, you know, why should we really even use data visualization? Well, visualizations can really help us better tell a story. When you're looking at like a typical Google Analytics report, you're, you're going to see a lot of numbers and you are going to see some visualizations in there. But some of the data is hard to find and sometimes it can be hard to really see trends over time, especially if you're looking at an exported spreadsheet. So what Data Studio is going to help you do is take your data and help it make it more engageable, like help, help the data be more human so that you can better make decisions and also you can help inform those people who you're working with or maybe you're working for. So you find Data Studio right within the Analytics Solutions page. As you notice, Google's got a number of different tools, whether it be Google Analytics, Tag Manager, which is an extremely powerful tool, which we will go over uh, in, in a future video. Google Optimize, again, another great tool from Google uh, that lets you do some A-B testing right there on your site and, and be able to really determine whether or not things work. It's, it's a cool tool, and again, we'll do a video on that as well. And then right next to that is Data Studios. You can also find it in under Sign In. So once you've signed into your Google account, you're gonna see these same options up here. Uh, the options down here, you know, surveys are paid, um, and then some of these are also more paid tools. But Google's got a lot of free, great tools that you can use as well. Now the first thing you're gonna see when coming in to do this Google's Data Studios are some shared reports. So these, these these templates that Google has already created. So if I click up here into this all templates um, link, you're going to see blank template, which means obviously it's blank. You can start from scratch. They've also got like a Google Analytics template, Search Console template, AdWords template, YouTube channel template, world population data, e-commerce PPC template, merchandise store, and some others. So they're pulling some data in here, uh, some sample data that you can work and, and manipulate. But you can also connect your own data sources to start um, really telling your story inside of Google Data Studios. They've got this one uh, awesome welcome to stat Google Studios, and they kind of teach you a little bit how to interact. So you know when you when you put your mouth over these charts, as you can see, there's trends over time. So you can actually look at key points along the way to say, okay, what was our high traffic point? You know, and, and then what was happening when we fell down here? Uh, we can actually sort all this data as live. So you can sort this live data because it's 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 like it's having a very interactive uh, report available for you. So you're not going to have to export all these columns and rows. You can actually see or set into pages and they can scroll through the pages and see the data. You just send somebody this link and then they're able to actually interact with the data you set them. You can set filters. I mean, there's a lot of cool things you can do. You can preferences and click on and off. So, it's almost like having a big BI software, um, but it's free. <laughs> so you can do a lot of really neat stuff right with inside Google Data Studios without having to really uh, invest in high level uh, visualization software. Now, there are some limitations uh, as with anything that's free, but for somebody getting started or for somebody that's just wanting to run really, really uh, good reports, Google Data Studio is a really great place to start 
And the great thing about it, it's already synced with a lot of your data that you probably are using. So what we do is, is we use these actually for our monthly marketing reports to show our clients the success that we're having or maybe some of the struggles we're having and to kind of give more transparency in what we're doing as an agency. So we create these reports and we actually started with a Google template and then altered it a little bit to meet our specific needs as a more of a search focused agency and to give our clients data that they're gonna be able to use and understand. Because typically what happens is you send somebody a report and they look at it and they go, I have no idea what this means. You know, thanks for sending it to me, but it makes no sense. So our whole goal is how can we use data visualization and reports to tell a better story? And this is where Data Studio has helped a lot. So what we're gonna actually do is show you the report we created. Uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how we created it. And um, we actually started right here with this Acme marketing template. So when you load this template in, you're going to see that it's got some pre-configured data. Um, users, sessions, this is not my site, this is just the template. So over here it says use the template, and I say, okay, it sounds great. As you can see, it's got a couple of high level um, KPIs, you know, the number of users, the number of sessions, paid views, bounce rate. But what I really liked about this template, what made it really, really appealing to me, was these, these headers. And they made it very easy. How are your, how is your site trending? So it's kind of showing site trend over time. Which channels are actually driving engagement? Um, who are the types of people on your site? Is it male, is it female, is it a mixture of both? What's the age demographic you're charging, tar targeting? And then over here is actually where I made a little bit of a different uh, report. I actually took this top countries by session out because that wasn't very relevant to our specific users. Our users needed something uh, a little more localized rather than top users by session. So uh, I will show you the report that we built off of this, very similar. We just took this section over here and changed it up a little bit. Okay, so here is the report that we've created specifically for ourselves and for our clients. As you can see, some of the configuration is incomplete right now. Um, and But what we did is we actually added what keywords are driving traffic over time. So we actually pulled in some search console data right here instead of just keeping this report static to Google Analytics. That's a great thing that you can do with Google Data Studio is you can actually uh, pull from different sources, multiple sources, and put it on one page. Um, and then, you know, as you can see, we have to configure this report though so that we pull in the right data. Right now, it's only pulling in data from, if we go up here to edit, it'll tell us where we're pulling data from. We click the column, sample search column data, search console data. So that's the only data source we have right now. So things like user sessions and bounce rate and trending sessions over time, those aren't going to make sense to, because Google search data doesn't have, console doesn't have those data references. So we're gonna actually need to tie a data, data source to it. So what you would do is just simply click on a, a specific column here, and now we've got to attach a data source to it. Now, right now, it's it's got this kind of default setting. But say I wanna change it to show you know my specific site. What you would do is click on the data source, and it says SMA marketing. Right now you can see it says search console connection, but I wanna connect it to my, my Google Analytics account so that I can pull data. You would click on create new source here at the bottom. Now here's the different connectors that we have available inside of Google Data Studio. We've got a file upload. We can connect our AdWords account. We can do attribution, which is part of our 360 cloud. Google BigQuery. We can actually connect from a cloud SQL database. Uh, we have DCM, Analytics, Sheets. We can pull from a MySQL database, Postgres SQL database, uh, Search Console, and Analytics uh, from YouTube. So there's a number of different pretty cool connectors that we can do, you know, especially if you've got your own database set up, uh, whether it be Cloud SQL, MySQL, um, Postgres. Like, you can pull your sources wherever you have them stored and actually visualize them inside of Data Studio. So for this, I want to actually connect to Google Analytics. For this, I want to click the Google Analytics, and I'm going to find the appropriate account, and then you're going to want to select the property, and you want to select the view, just like you would in Google Analytics, and then once you've done all that, hit connect. Now, this is going to show all the different connections or data points or metrics and dimensions that Google is going to be pulling in. 
So this is going to tell us the numbers and how we want those numbers constrained in order to give us the, the visualization that we're looking for. Once you click add to report, it's going to basically say, hey, this is what we're going to do. And you can just add the report. And now you're going to see the sessions change. We can do it again here. Now you noticed it didn't change everything. So we've got to make sure that all these are connected. The good thing is once you sync that data source, it's now going to be available in this template right here, added data sources. So I can just go through and click and make all of these live. So what we've done, we've connected two different data points. We've connected Google Analytics and Google Search Console to one report. And now we're looking at a span between June 16th up here to June, July 15th, so almost about a month. And we're looking at the, the user history. We're looking where the trending is. Is it up? Is it down? Um, how are these, how's the site page traffic trending over time? Um, what's driving the traffic here? Uh, engagement, what landing pages are performing the best? But oh, let's look at this. We still didn't connect the search console data, right? We're still connected to the sample data. Now what we can do, as you saw before, we actually already had our search console set up right here, but since it's not clicked on it, it's still pulling from the sample data. So all we would have to do to change this graph is click on it, and now it's switched and it's actually pulled in other corrections. Um, if you want to look at this, right now it's in edit view, so when you click stuff, you're actually going to be editing. You can change the style, change the type of chart that you're using, change the colors. I mean, there's a lot of flexibility inside these tools, but when getting started, I recommend just you know, taking it slow and really understanding um, how the tool works. And then you can start working on, you know, how do we, you know, make it look like this, do we have the lines in it, you know, which is all done through styles over here. Um, and, and you can kind of make it look pretty. Usually what I do, if I see something I like, I go, okay, I like the way that looks over here. Table colors, oh, this is the, the row, this is the color. I'm gonna copy this color. And uh, I'm gonna do the same thing to this one in the styles, even row color, and I'm gonna add a custom color and I'll just paste that in there. Now it looks exactly the same. Um, so styling is, is just something you do to make it pretty at the end. Focus on getting the data in, focus on making sure you have the right types of graphs. So for things like landing pages or keywords, you're probably gonna use tables, but for traffic trends or engagement, you wanna use bar charts and line charts. Um, donut charts are really helpful, especially when you're kind of showing the differences between two things. So, uh, and then we have a stacked line chart here, again, kind of showing the difference between two things. Uh, really helps us. You can actually change over here the canvas size. So let's say I wanted like a 16 by nine. See how that shifted everything over? And now I'm actually gonna have an elongated one instead of what I had before, which was US letter portrait. So again, there's a, there's a lot of cool things that you can do. Now, if you wanna send this report to somebody, you just click view. And now you have the, the, the view of the report. Right. So here's where I can actually start to compare and contrast data uh, in real time. This is going to update constantly, so you can always get access. You can drop and see even, uh, you know, what was traffic like for the whole year so far, um, and, and kind of compare it versus the same time period as from a year ago. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things that you can do within within Google Data Studio to kind of help you better understand. If you want to share it, you just click share this report. Uh, just like anything else inside the Google ecosystem, you just put the person's name, your email address, if they have to have a Google account, and then you can go ahead and send them this report that they can review and interact with on here. So this is one report. Uh, it's a report that was built by Google that we augmented slightly, but there's uh, a number of templates out there. There's more and more showing up. Um, there's a couple of cool ones I wanted to show you. This one is actually from Lunametrics, which is a great site, and I recommend you checking out their blog. This is an overview of digital marketing data. Again, this is just sample user data in here. You can change it, but they've actually got a key map built in to uh, both the, the conversion rates of the source traffic and the popular page titles to the bounce rate, uh, a nice uh, session and conversion rate tracking, um, the time and locations. There's a lot of cool data. You can actually do a lot of customization to this report. So this is a really good one. I'll give a link to this report. And then there's a OWOXBI. This, and here's another one. This is OWOXBI. Now this is a really, really in-depth report. Uh, it's actually nine pages in all. 
but it tells a whole lot from users to transactions to attributed revenue to ad cost. I mean, product category, session, and devicing. It, 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 this is built on raw data, but again, you can connect your own data sources to this template and just start to understand the revenue by campaign. I mean, there's there's nine pages of really, really cool reports that you can all do paid searches branding, a Yandex directory, Facebook marketing, organic search, um, attribution, all of the different ones are here. So this is a really, if you're a little bit bigger of a company, you guys are doing a, a kind of a multi-channel marketing campaign. This is really great. You can actually build this chart, interactive chart, do a slide presentation with interactive data right on your screen. Uh, it will definitely impress your bosses. Uh, the cool thing is, is it's free. <laughs> and, and it's a tool that's already synced to a lot of data points that you're already using. So I highly recommend checking out Google Data Studio, getting yourself involved, and trying to start to understand your data in a little bit different way. These reports are going to make a lot more sense to the people, especially higher up, who don't have time to really dig into the nitty gritty, but want to look at trends over time and interesting points of data along the journey. So this is our brief overview of getting into Google Data Studio. If you have any questions, please comment below uh, or connect with us you know, in any of our social channels, Twitter, email, Facebook, LinkedIn. And uh, until next time, happy marketing. Bye, 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 bye.